Good morning, this is Greg at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the Eastern Idaho planning briefing for Sunday, January 10th. First we'll look at the weather impact summary. There will be some very patchy fog this morning and Monday morning, mainly in the Snake River Plain and Eastern Mountain Valleys. Uh, otherwise, very little impacts uh, for the short term. We will have mountain snow returning uh, mainly late Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. We're going to have warming temperatures as well in the Tuesday to Wednesday time frame. I'll look at the current satellite loop. Uh, again, we do have some low clouds. You can see this dark shade over the Snake River Plain. Uh, again, most of the impacts are just uh, low stratus, not too much in the way of fog presently. And you have some higher clouds into eastern Washington, eastern Oregon, and then some more significant moisture well out into the Pacific, and that's what's going to be uh, moving into our area uh, later on Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's the weather impact overview. Again, some fog in the Snake River Plain and the eastern mountain valleys today and tomorrow, and mainly in the morning. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, you can see some light snow. Uh, most of it will be in the Sawtooth, uh, Wood River area, and then Wednesday as well. Again, mostly affecting the mountain areas, not expecting much in the way of rain or snow in the Magic Valley or Snake River Plain. And then we just start to dry out again uh, Thursday. And here's a quick look at the snow amounts on Tuesday. Again, most of it's going to be in the Central Mountains and mainly late in the day and overnight. You can see some 2 to 4 inches uh, west of uh, Route 75, uh, 1 to 3 inches in the Stanley area. But again, not expecting real significant amounts. You can see Wednesday we're expecting a bit more. Uh, again, seeing some... Uh, four to eight inches inch amounts uh, in the higher mountains again uh, northwest of of the Haley Sun Valley area so again we could see some uh, accumulations Tuesday Wednesday uh, snow, shouldn't, snow shouldn't be as heavy in the eastern highlands so again not expecting major impacts again but could see some difficult travel Tuesday Wednesday uh, mainly in the central mountains High temperatures today, uh, it will be cold again, uh, right around or below normal, uh, 20 to 25 in the Upper Snake River Plain, uh, north of Blackwood from Idaho Falls to Rexburg. Uh, some low 30s in the Magic Valley, right around 30 in Pocatello, and then generally teens and 20s in the mountains. Again, similar temperatures Monday. Uh, it is below seasonal normal uh, by a bit, so again, we're going to continue this cold trend. Then by Tuesday, we're going to start to warm up significantly. Uh, many temperatures in the Snake River Plain will get well above freezing by Tuesday. Uh, in some of the mountain areas, mid-20s to mid-30s. And then even warmer Wednesday, uh, many areas into the low to mid-40s in the Snake River Plain and Magic Valley and mostly 30s in the mountains. So as that moisture pushes in, we're going to warm up as well. And a quick look at the long-term 8 to 14 day outlook as we're starting to get towards the second half of January. And this is the first time this week where the temperature outlook is showing right around uh, best chance of near normal temperatures after uh, quite a long period of above normal temperatures beginning Tuesday and precipitation outlook still a better chance of below normal precipitation as well. So again summing up uh, some very patchy fog this morning and Monday morning mainly Snake River Plain some of the eastern mountain valleys and we're going to see mountain snow return on Tuesday late Tuesday and Wednesday with warming temperatures as well. Again uh, most of the travel issues are probably going to be in the central mountains with the snow in the late Tuesday to Wednesday time frame. Again, a few inches are going to be likely. That will conclude today's briefing. Call us at the number listed here 24 hours a day if you have any questions. Thank you and have a nice day.